Hello, from the heart of Midland, this is the June 2015 edition of MPS Today. My name is Scott Cochran, Midland Public Schools Auxiliary Education Curriculum Specialist and host of the show. Today is our favorite show of the year. You'll get to meet our international exchange students from both high schools, from Midland High School and from Dow High School. Remember that you can watch all of our shows on our YouTube site. Just go to www.midlandps.org and click on the YouTube button in the upper right hand corner. You can also check us out on TV on Charter Cable Channel 190 and on UVerse Channel 99. Now let's meet our international exchange students. To start off, we'll go to Europe to meet two students. We have uh, Ida Springborg from Denmark, she's at Midland High School, and Ava Van Osten from Holland, and she's at Dow High School. So welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. Well, to start off, why don't you tell us a little bit about your hometown. So where are you from exactly? Uh, I'm from like the northern part of Denmark. It's like a small town called Arden. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's close to a big city, so that's where we go when we're like, want to do stuff we can't do in that yeah. like small town. Yeah. So what big city are you close to? Uh, Alpar. Okay. Yeah. Great. And so what mm -hmm. happens in your town? What's the big industry or what do people do for work? Uh, or? Well, like the, th what they make money on is probably like sports. Like it's a, it's kind of a, like lots of different sports, like the center of sports like there. Okay. It's big there's a lot of people included in that yeah so a lot of training and teams there mm -hmm. okay yeah great Eva how about you um I was born in Utrecht and that's close to Amsterdam but when I was six I moved to uh, Trenuzen which is more in the south of the Netherlands close to okay. Belgium sure and because my dad got a job at Dow so that's why I moved to Trenuzen ah, so, yeah. we know about Dow yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you feel right at home here in Midland, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, what is your hometown like um, well, Utrecht is more in the, like, between all the big city cities, and, um, yeah, I don't know. It was really busy there, and it's really crowded, and just so many houses and all that, so, I don't know. In Trenusen, it's not that bad. There are more farms and all that, but... So you like that? I like that better, and, yeah, coming here, it's a lot nicer, a lot nicer too, because, you know, yeah. more space and all that. And probably more similar to where you've, where you've been living lately, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, good. Uh, now, what do you and your friends like to do when you're not at school? What's your day-to-day -day life like back mm -hmm. at home? Well, Ida? like in, in my school, there's not like sports and clubs and all that included, so you have to do that after school. So, mm -hmm. so that's what we do, like the sports and hang out and just... So what do you like to do? What are your sports or your activities? Uh, I, I played soccer for like a couple years because it was with my really close friends, so we had like a, a really small team, so yeah. yeah. You had fun together. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I played handball too. Oh, sure. It's a long time ago, but yeah. Great. Ava, how about you? What do you like to do with your friends? Um, well, it's been a while <laughs> since I've lived there, but sure. I mean, uh, I used to play field hockey, so, and that's also out of school, like, outside of school, so. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. It's a lot different, like, hanging out with friends because it's easier because you can just bike places and stuff, so. Right. Yeah. Well, what's it been like for you here in Midland? Uh, obviously, it's mm. different than your home, but what, what's your school year been like? Really interesting, yeah. different. It, I really, really like it here. Yeah. So what, like, was the, what was one of the things you really enjoyed about Midland? Like spirit weeks and all that stuff. Like in the football season, where yeah. they're like, where they go, like the band go through, goes through the halls, like and cheer and all those people. And yeah, that was really fun. This I've like never seen such a thing before. The school traditions yeah. are a lot of fun. Aren't yeah. They? The spirit week gets everybody all excited. Mm. And Eva, how about for you? Yeah, I had that at the beginning too. It's a lot different mm -hmm. and with football games and all that, but after a while, you, yeah, you kind of get used to it, I guess. Right, sure. <laughs> well, it becomes a part of your daily life. Yeah, really, so. so, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't like it here as much as in Europe because in Europe, I don't know, there's more things to do, so. But it's been an interesting Midland can experience. be a quiet town. Yeah, it's it can be. Yeah. It can be, there's no question. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm glad that I've been here because, I mean, you learn a lot and stuff, so. Yeah. Well, that's good. So, Ida, let's talk about food for a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. how is the food here different than the food back home for you? Well, there, there's like a lot of fast food here. Mm. <laughs> like compared to home, we, there's a lot of like seasonal foods we make and natural foods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what's a meal that you're looking forward to when you go home? Uh, mm, it would be the like the traditional Christmas meal. It's a, uh, it's kind of like. It's, Mm, I don't know a steak. It's it's pig meat. 
Okay. I don't, I don't really know. So it's a pork or something. A kind? pork. It's yeah. pork and brown sauce and potatoes and like these like little potatoes and like sugar caramel-ish potatoes. Okay. And like this um, coal thing, like red, purple coal. Like beets or? Be yeah. I think right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, but I don't know the name for it. Me oh. What do you <laughs> call it at home? Um, well, cool. Yeah, that's okay. what we call it too. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Local? Yeah, yeah. yeah local. I think yeah, it's not beets, but I think it is beets. You know, the yeah. round things, and then you yeah, them. it's like yeah. a big round purple thing. Okay. And you cut it into little pieces, and you boil it, and yeah. All right, so you got yeah. that to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Ava, how about you? What are you looking forward to when you go? Um, home? yeah, my mom's cooking definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've lived with a Dutch family, but. Um, yeah, it's different than my actual like my mom's. Of cooking, course, you know? everybody enjoys their mom's cooking. Yeah. Who doesn't like mom's home yeah. cooking? So, what um, we talked before about bringing an artifact in, and I know you're going to describe yours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Eda, you got one right there. So, what did you mm -hmm. bring in? I brought some licorice, black okay. licorice. Yeah. Um, it, it's funny. Like people told me that before I like came here, and like I was preparing to like get here and buy some stuff, like. Uh, like gifts for my host family and they sure. said that li buy licorice because they hate it yeah <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> like um, someone told me that she had given a licorice to them and they were like what is this poison or something oh, like no. they did like it didn't at all but out. this is kind of a, like a sweeter kind so okay. i like this kind yeah Great. and now ava what did you bring you, i know you didn't bring it to the studio yeah, today, but yeah. <laughs> um i brought hahoslag and hahoslag <laughs> yeah okay it's like um, chocolate sprinkles. I mean, put it on their bread in the morning or during mm. for lunch. Okay. So I really miss that. Just yeah. like a Dutch bre uh, like breakfast, which is like really nice bread because the bread here is not that good. And I've heard like, exchange students say that before. <laughs> so yeah. It's not good at all. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. And also, and um, I brought little wooden shoes because that's what the Netherlands is known for. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, great. Now, did you actually have wooden shoes when you were a child that you set out at some no, point? Or no, it's no. Of, I didn't, didn't think so. So it's sort of a tradition that... Yeah, some people, like little kids on farms, they sometimes still wear them, but it's not comfortable. I wouldn't <laughs> I recommend it. No. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Now, uh, last question. What are your plans for when you go back home? What's next for you? Um, I'm going to uh, college. Okay. It's, uh, in Denmark, it's called the gymnasium. Uh, yeah. And what are you so, planning to study? Uh, the, there's like a math course and a language course. So I'm taking language because I'm not real good at math. All right. Yeah. Great. So you've got that to look forward to. Yeah. Good. And a Ava, how about you? Um, I'll, I will also be going to college and live with my sister. Okay. And I'll be uh, studying, hopefully, nursing. Okay. But I won't know if I got accepted until mid-July. So it's... So we wish you luck on that. Yeah. You know, it's always <laughs> yeah. Just like a month before yeah. you know, college starts, but I'm sure you'll I'm sure it'll be work out just fine for yeah. you. Yeah. I hope so. Well Ida and Ava, thank you very much for talking with us today thank and for you. being thank in Midland you. this year. It's been great to get to know you and, and good luck when you go back mm -hmm. home. Thank you. Thanks. You bet. All right, well up next we'll meet more exchange students from Europe, so stick around for more MPS today, right after this. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him going on to fascinate millions with his talent? One in 260,000. The odds of this born racer having 157 career top 10 finishes in NASCAR? One in 125 billion. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year? One in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 68. I'm NASCAR driver Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Welcome back to MPS Today. We'll continue our tour of Europe as we meet our international exchange students from Italy, France, and Spain. So here from uh, Italy is Giada Valietti. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you. And Adrian uh, Samatan from Spain. Thank you, yep. And uh, from France, Carol Chenevez. Yeah. All right, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, now, you, tell us about your hometowns and where you're from a little bit. Carol, how about for you? 
Okay, so I'm from France. I'm from a little town called Bully. Okay. It's near Lyon. And yeah, it's really, really small compared to Midland. So I kind of, I don't know, sometimes I get lost in Midland. But yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, I always find my way back home. Well, that's good. <laughs> we don't want you to get lost. Yeah, it's the main part of it. And um, yeah, it's, there's only 2,000 inhabitants. Okay, so you have a small town that you're yeah, in. Yeah, tiny compared to Midland. So when people say Midland is really small, I can't believe them. <laughs> it doesn't feel that way to you. No, yeah. it doesn't. Sure. Everybody has their own experience from home, right? That's true. <laughs> and Jada, how about you? Where are you from in Italy? I am from the north of Italy. I'm from a small town, not as small as hers, but yeah. still small, called uh, Verdello. And it's 45 minutes from Milan, which is good. Uh, we don't really have a lot to do in my hometown because it's, as I said, really small yeah. and there's a lot of old people. But um, I can catch a train whenever I want and go pretty much all around the region and have fun, so it's good. All right, good. Now, Adrian, where are you from in Spain? I'm from the northeast part between Madrid and Barcelona. Okay. From a city called Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. And it's much larger than Midland. It has 700,000 people living wow. there, so it's really different. It's a big town, yeah. Yeah, we have big city. Yeah, we have buses and everything, so yeah. How do you do? You live right in the, the city, or do you live out in the suburbs? Yeah, in the in the city. Like it's not in the center, but I can get anywhere I go on pretty pretty fast. Now, how do you bus. and your friends get around? Do you, does anybody drive? Or you ride bikes or buses or um, trains or? Yeah, we have buses and also trains. Uh, so we, we we usually take the bus. So, because it's it's connected to everywhere, so it's really good. Yeah, it's easy to get around that way. Hmm. All right, well, how's it been for you in Midland? Tell me, which school do you all go to? So I'm attending Midland High School this year. Okay. Um, and I'm at Dow High. I'm at Midland High School. All right, and how's the year gone for you? Um, it's been, like, really, really good when I think of right now. Yeah. When I look back at it, it's, it's a good achievement for me. Um, I I had like I had some troubles with my classes, but I think it's for every exchange student. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah, of course, and especially at the beginning with the uh, English all day, every yeah. day, and, and it's really tiring. But uh, I got to do lots of sports because it's my favorite thing. Yeah. So what teams were you on? <laughs> so I, I got to could do, I get to be on the um, cross country team for in the fall. Yeah. And then I played um, basketball. And the last season I was on the JV soccer team, and I had lots of fun on every season. I bet. You were really busy then, it sounds Yeah, like I was between. always busy, never bored. And <laughs> That's good. <laughs> always something to do after school. It was really fun. Good. Now, Jada, how about you? How was uh, Dow High School for you? It was really good, actually. Um, I come from a school that has absolutely no spirit, so it was yeah. awesome to, like, wear green and gold and just sing. And I'm in marching band, which is pretty full spirit yeah, so sure. um, it was really good I made a lot of friends which is unusual for me and um, okay. yeah it was great I had really good classes and really good teachers and I felt welcome well that's good we always like to every hear that. one of them so it was really yeah I mean good. both the high schools are really wonderful schools so. yeah yeah that's good now what instrument do you play in the band I play flute okay so that's a great way to start the school year. You're involved with the band. You have yes. 200 friends already before, the, before things even get going. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. Now, Adrian, how, how was Midland High School for you this year? It was really good. There are a lot of uh, subjects to take here. In, in Spain, we don't okay. have that option. So it was, it was good. I live here in the county, so I couldn't really do a lot of things because, because I had to depend on the county connection. Sure. But I, I, I had the chance to to take programming, and that was really good because I, I really like that. Yeah, the programming uh, classes are just great, aren't they? Yeah, yeah is, really good. Is that something that you're interested in doing in the future, do you think? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to call this like in two years to, to do computer science. Okay, great. What other classes did you have this year? I had American Literature, U.S. History, um, I had Math, Pre-Calc, and physics. Wow, so you know, that's a pretty intense academic schedule. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Now, what was, I'm curious, uh, U.S. history, how was that different? You all took U.S. history this year, right? Mm -hmm. some, some form. Yeah. So what was that like? I mean, did you, was there a different perspective than what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what yeah, was that absolutely. like for you? I mean, that must be interesting. 
Um, like in, in, I think in most of part, like most of the part of Europe, we study world history. Sure. And so. Well, and our students do too. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Just not you this year. But yeah. U.S. history, um, like it's not the same point of view. Um, sure, it isn't. Right. Um, so we we so I I knew some like I knew some history, and and it was interesting for me to see how Americans see it because it's very very different and. And um, I learned some things I didn't had not yeah like, I had not the, learn, the knowledge about and yeah it must be interesting yeah, to was, see a different point of view yeah. so it was interesting and sometimes it was, like it was really like very, like interesting and, and, and like weird it was it was funny to see because I wouldn't think like some things I wouldn't think that Americans think this way so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Well, Jada, you brought home uh, an artifact from, from Italy. Yeah. What do you have there? I have a um, photo book that I brought for my host family when I first came. And, well, it's in English, so I bought it for them so it would yeah. be easier for them and they could read history. My, I think my city, not the town where I'm from, but the city really close to it, is kind of underrated. But it has a lot of history and a lot of beautiful buildings. So, yeah. Um, it's called Bergamo, and there's like a really beautiful part of the city which is on a hill. And yeah, if I can open yeah, it. Yeah, please do. This is the view from the hill, so I'm pretty, I don't know, proud of it, it's I guess. It's a beautiful town, yeah. It is a beautiful town. And <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And there's a lot of art in Italy, which is yeah. something that I kind of miss. That's something that we, uh, in the United States, we don't necessarily recognize, but the history is, there's more history in mm -hmm. Europe, you're right? I mean, more yeah. recorded history, <laughs> older buildings, more art, and... Everywhere, I think, in Europe. Yeah. 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 It just feels different that yeah. way, yeah. Now, Adrian, how about you? What'd you bring in today? I see you've got your scarf on there. Yeah, this is sort of, sort of scarf that we wear in the festivities in our city okay. in October. And, I don't know, it reminds me of having good times at that time of the year. <laughs> yeah, so what, what is it called, the festival? It's the Fiestas del Pilar. Okay. And it's sort of religious, but uh, people go to the, we have a cathedral and, uh, and the Virgin Mary there, and people bring flowers to her. Okay. But it, there are a lot of gigs too and everything, so. Yeah, there's a lot there's fun, Yeah, there's fun to, to get, yeah. Great. Well, before, what are you looking forward to when you go back home? There must be an, an event or something your family does or some, you know, a family gathering or food. I mean, what, what's, what's, what's going to happen when you go home? Carol, how about for you? Um, I'm very excited for food. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have lots of, like, food that, uh, that we don't make in the U.S. Yeah, so what's, what's your favorite meal that you can't wait for? Um, okay, it's a weird name, but it's called Canel. It's, um... I don't know what it is, but it tastes really good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's a special, like it's a traditional food from Lyon. So it's the biggest city close to my town. In it's like region, 20 right? minutes away. Okay. And it's, it's cooked with bechamel or any kind of sauce, and it's really, really good. I'm right. very excited for it. And I'm so excited for cheese, bread, croissant, stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very French. It sounds yeah. like yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Giada, how about you? Well, I'm definitely looking forward to see my family again. Of course. I have yeah. a really big family. Yeah. So right. all the aunts and uncles and cousins and so on and so forth. And yeah, I guess spending time with them, I spend a lot of time with them. And uh, also see my friends and just, you know, having a good time. Yeah, well, good. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm excited to see my friends <laughs> and my family, that's for sure. All the most important people, too. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. Adrian, what are you looking forward to when you go home? Looking forward to meet with my family and friends again. It's been a lot of time now. Yeah, absolutely. And also the food. I mean, it's, it's really different. <laughs> it is very <laughs> different. That. There's no doubt. So what are your, uh, before you go, one more question. What are your plans for after you, uh, when you get back home, far school goals or university? What's next for, for you, Carol? Um, so this year doesn't count for me. I mean, I get grades, but I cannot right. transfer to them to France. Okay. So I need to go uh, to high school two more years, and then hopefully when I graduate, I can enter to uh, to medicine school because I want to be a dentist. Okay. So I want to study this. Great. And 
And I'm hoping, like, I'm going to try to be a dentist in the military. So I'm excited for that. That's great. But, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's a, it's a challenge, and, yeah. Sounds like it. I bet you'll, be, I bet you'll do great at it, though. It sounds yeah, good. thank you. <laughs> Jada, how about for you? Well, uh, this year counts for me. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but um, It's good for you. <laughs> I still have another year of high school, and it's going to be tough. I'm going to have exams both next year when I go back and next year. Okay. And um, after that, I will try and get into an American college, but it will probably be really hard because of all the money that it takes and, sure. of course. And um, I plan to study uh, journalism or languages. Okay. Any, anything that will make me travel, actually. Ah, so you, yeah. you enjoy your traveling then. Yeah. All right, well, good luck. Adrian, how about for you? I, have, I still have a year of high school, and then I'll go to college in my city to do computer science, as I said. Yeah. <laughs> so you're looking forward to staying in the same general region as Spain then? Yeah, I like to travel but like, to the U.S., to an U.S. college, but it's really expensive. It is very expensive. It's expensive yeah. for all of us, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So. I'll just try. <laughs> so. It's something we all spend a lot of time thinking about, too. <laughs> so, well, Adrian and... Uh, Carol and Giada, thank you very much for coming thank in you. to talk thank with you. us today. Thank you. And, uh, we're glad you enjoyed your time in Midland, and I know everyone enjoyed getting to know you too. So. Yeah. And good luck when you go home. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Well, up next, uh, we'll have our exchange students from Thailand in the studio. So stick around for more MPS today right after this. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika with the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw in the olives, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Welcome back to MPS Today. We'll continue our exploration around the world with our international exchange students from Midland and Dow High School. Now we have three students in Midland from Thailand. Uh, we have Tig Soi Kam and uh, Graham Tong Si Kao and Karen Supa Trabutra. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Now tell us a little bit about where you're all from Thailand, but you're all from different hometowns, right? So where are you from? Mm -hmm. Karen, where are you from in Thailand? I'm from Seanbury, Seanbury and it's like um, um, on the eastern part of Thailand. Um, and it's like a pretty big city, I would say. Okay. And I love my city a lot. Yeah. It's like near the ocean, so we can go there pretty often. Okay, and what do you and your family and friends like to do at the ocean? Like we go there sometimes. Um, it's kind of hot outside in Thailand, yeah. so we sometimes go like to the mall instead, go okay. to the movies. <laughs> All right. So but it's nice mm -hmm. to get out of your hometown and, and do a little the yes. trip to the ocean then. Mm -hmm. All right. And Graham, how about you? Where are you from in Thailand? Um, I'm from Han Yai in Thailand, like northern Thailand, I think. What's the name again? Um, Han Yai. Han Yai? Okay. Yes. Okay. It's southern, yes. Oh, it's and in southern Thailand. Yeah, it's close to the ocean too, but yeah, it's hot. Very hot. And is it bigger than Midland or smaller than Midland? Or? It's bigger. Yeah, a lot but bigger. Yeah. It's Good, and I love my CD a lot. Yeah, and what do you and your friends and, and family like to do? Um, for me and my friend, we like to hang out in the mall, and like for about my family, we like to go to the this like the beach and hang out together, like yeah. picnic or something. Yeah, something like that. That sounds nice. And Tig, where are you from? Um, I'm from Mahasalakam, and it's like uh, okay. It's like uh, this one's Thailand. Okay. And it's. Oh, we do this in Michigan too, so you've seen, you know. Okay. Yeah. It's not close to Michigan. <laughs> no. It's not even close. It's like uh, in northeast of Asia. Uh, right. No, northeast of Thailand. Okay. And my city is kind of like a pretty small. If talking about Milan, I think it's like a same. Okay. Kind of same. All right. And what do you and your friends and family like to do when you're not at school or um, working? It's like uh, if school over, like uh, after like a uh, like a uh, school day, school day over, yeah. you're gonna play soccer at the gym, sometime on the field, and after that we're gonna go hang out like uh, drink a milkshake, and so 
about family, we're gonna went to we're gonna go to like a beach, national park, camping. Oh, okay. That's it. That sounds nice. So, did you have a chance to do any camping while you're here in, in Michigan? Yeah, I think I I did that. Yeah. Two times. Okay. Where'd you go? Do you remember? Um, let me see. I didn't tell you I was going to ask about that, but I'm just curious now. Um, at Saginaw Bay. Okay. We went to the fishing, and then we have like camping before we go to the boat and go sure. fishing, and then. I didn't know this place. Like, uh, I went on my brother' birthday. Okay. Like, uh, we went to the track, like uh, the dirt bike track. Okay. So it's like uh, we camping like uh, one day. Sounds like fun. Mm. All right. Now, what is uh, what have Midland and, and Dow High School been like for you, uh, Graham? How was your year at Dow High? Oh, that's was very good. I mean, like, I have very beautiful years here. I mean, like Dow High, like. People like very serious about sport and mm -hmm. like because like my school is more thing about sport like have a lot like competition or something like that and I just join my choir band and I have been in Washington D.C. for choir in Memorial right, Day right. and it was pretty fun and I feel good too. So that was a great experience with Mrs. Kempsall and the and the yes. Dow High Choir. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what did you enjoy about going to Washington D.C.? I've been to like a lot of museum, like and sure. space and yeah. like um, Korean Memorial, like the Vietnam. Korean Memorial, yeah, yes. sure. Like I've been a lot, but I cannot remember all of the names. Yes. Did you take? I bet you took a lot of pictures, though. Yes, yeah. a lot. Like. 1,000 pictures. All right, and you, and you all had a chance to sing at the uh, yes. World War II Memorial, if I remember yeah. correctly, right? Yes. And how did that go? It's pretty hot. It I mean, like, okay. because, like, we sang at, like, um, at midday, sure. and it was very hot, and, yes, and we have, like, um, some guys, he is the person, he, he was very old, and I mean, like, he came here to see us just sing. Oh, okay. It was like, he waited for us, like, two hours to see us. Wow. And, and I was surprised about that, and, <laughs> yes. But I heard, I heard you all did a wonderful job. Yes, and, and that guy, he was in, like, World War II. Sure. Yes, and he was Army, and it was very cool. It's an important, it's an important thing, Memorial Day, and remembering yes. the, those. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Now, uh, uh, Karn, what was your school year like at Midland High School? What did you enjoy? Oh, like this year has been amazing so far. Yeah. I like I, I like Midland High a lot actually. Good. Like they, we have good friends here, and sports. I love sports here. Okay. What like, did you do for uh, for sports this year? So I do golf, bowling, and tennis. All right. So you kept yourself pretty busy. It sounds like. Mm -hmm. And the teens are very fun to be with. I think it's one of the, the nicest things, right, is when you get to do an activity like choir or on a team and you get mm -hmm. to know the, your classmates and your friends that way. Which are, if you had to choose just one sport, which one would be your favorite? I would say tennis. Yeah, okay. I love tennis so All much. Right. Well, so they say Midland, Midland is, uh, is, a, is a tennis city, so tennis city, USA, so that's good. Now, Tig, what did you uh, enjoy about your school year? Um, I really like my school so much, like a great friend, nice people, great teacher and then like a sport like uh, I did the tennis track that's it well, all right what did you what did you do in the track season um, 100 100 dash okay and then 200 meter dash sure the 200 is a tough one isn't it I mean it just seems you're sprinting the whole way yeah, I think it's tough, pretty tough for me yeah all right well, that's good. It's good that you did that. Now, you brought some artifacts from, from home. What did you bring here? So I brought an elephant stuffed animal because, like, elephant is, like, a symbol of Thailand. And whenever I see it, it reminds me of Thailand. Right, and I good. miss my home country. Of course you do. So that's great that you had that to remind you. Now, so, Graham, I know you brought a similar object, yes, right? Yes, like, very close because <laughs> it reminds me home. It's like, I saw it every time in my country. I mean, like, maybe sometimes when I went to a restaurant and I have like dinner with my friend and I saw like elephant like walk past me and would walk and, by the restaurant yes and oh. people can give them food like I mean okay yeah string like that and where would the elephant go I mean is it uh, I mean like 
it's just walk around and people can like someone just brought them and oh, like walk past and we can like buy food to feed them yeah okay. something like that great well that's something you wouldn't see here in midland what is it you wouldn't see it no you wouldn't see you it. wouldn't see an elephant walking <laughs> yeah. by the restaurant now take it and bring anything in for us today did you that's no, all right no. you, you, were, you were talking about food earlier what would uh what's your favorite meal that you're looking forward to having when you go home oh in thai we call som tam som tam but here i think they call papaya salad what do they call it papaya salad okay and yeah when they get back i really want to eat them so much right. like so bad like i can't. it's like uh you know like uh, the taste like uh, just a little bit sweet just mm -hmm. a little bit and then spicy that's what i want so it's a good mix of flavors you know, Thai food is really unique, so it's probably hard to get good Thai food. I mean, we have yes. some wonderful restaurants here in town, but mm -hmm. it's probably not like your mom or dad makes back at home. Yes. So that'll be something you all look forward to, I bet. Yes. Great. Well, what are your plans for when you go back home? What are you looking forward to doing? Tig? For me, I'm going to go to beach with my friend. Yeah. And then I'm going to go hang out around my city and then... When Stay the school year starts, are you, are you back in high school? Or are you going to university or where are you? Back to high school. Okay. So like uh, before I came here, I was a junior. Okay. And then when I get back, I'm going to redo my years again. So okay. I'm going to get back to be a junior again. All right. And then do you have an idea of when you graduate from high school, what you might want to do next? Um, you have a ways to go yet still, so. Again, okay. I think it's going to be uh, engineering. Okay. But might have changed. Might change. You still. Might we're change. not going to hold you to that. You still have time to figure it mm -hmm. out yet. Graham, how about for you? What's next for you? Um, I have to continue my high school years okay. and like and meet some of my friends and my family. And I think my mom gonna take me to travel a lot yeah. and go get Thai food. And for my like after school years, I think I'm. So in Thailand, I have to go to like my junior years again because like in Thailand, like college need more like credit. Okay. Yes, and because I want to be like some job have like more about science, like engineer or doctor or something like that. Sure. And so I have to go back and go to junior again. Sure. So yeah. you have a lot of uh, science classes and, yes. and academics left still. Like a lot. All right, you'll do yeah. great, I'm sure. And Karen, what's your plan? So, since I like this con like m city so much, mm -hmm. um, next year I'm coming back here to a private school, and I think it's going to be a great year again. Right, and I'm mm -hmm. sure uh, I'm sure you have another great year in Midland then. So that's something to look forward to. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Tig and Graham and, and Karen, thank you very much for talking with us this year uh, tonight, rather, and and thanks for being here in Midland this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck when you go back home. Or we'll come yeah. back. Either way, <laughs> both. All right, well, for our final segment of the show, uh, we'll travel below the equator to meet our exchange students from South America. So that's up next on MPS Today. No more pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks. School's out for summer. What this place needed was better graduation rates. So we worked with schools like Henry Ford High, and now they're up 18%. And it can happen in every place. To help us do more good this year, go to unitedway.org, because great things happen when we live united. Welcome back to MPS Today. Next, we'll head to South America. We're here with Cecilia De Silva from Argentina. She's a student at Dow High School this year through December. And Ana Zambonetti, who is from Brazil, and she's at Midland High School through the end of the school year. So Cecilia and Ana, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. You bet. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about your home countries and your hometowns. So Anna, 
Uh, excuse, not Anna, it's Anna, right? <laughs> it's Anna, yeah. Now, Anna, where are you from exactly? Um, I'm from Brazil. I live in an island in the south of the country, and we call it Florianópolis. Okay. It's like one of the south, most like southern states in the country. So it's really different than here. Like I'm yeah. surrounded by beaches. We have 42 beaches in the in the wow. island. And it's a little bit more populated than Midland, so yeah. that makes a huge difference. And what else? It's always warm in Brazil. Like we don't have <laughs> snow at all. So it's well, just, it's warm now here. It's just well, wasn't in the winter time. Kinda. Kinda. Well, <laughs> no, like this is yeah. um, this is like winter in Brazil. Okay. So it's a little bit different, and we were always going to the beach. So the climate is totally different, and. Um, well, like my part of the country, we were colonized by Germany. Okay. So we have a lot of German food over there, and we also eat a lot of, um, like, seafood because sure. since it's close to the yeah. sea, so that makes that is different from here too. Like, I've I think I've eaten fish like four times since I came here, and I came here nine months ago. Yeah, so that's I used a big to eat change. it every day. So. Now, Anna, is it? What are the industries in in your? Florianopolis. Is it, is it tourism? There are a lot of tourists that come there or what kind of businesses um, are there? It's mostly tourism and we have a lot of like we have a lot of fishermen in the in the island. Yeah. So that is also a huge part of the economy but it's pretty much just tourism. We are like we have really good waves so we have a, a big surf okay. tourism yeah. and people from like all over the country come to visit because it's just like a beautiful part of Brazil. Sure. So when you get back home and you're going to choose your favorite meal to have, it's probably going to be seafood of some kind. Yes. What will it I'm be? I'm dying for oysters. Okay. We eat like um, oyster and we don't really cook it. You just eat it raw with lemon and some salt and it's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> Cecilia, is that for you or no? No. <laughs> Everybody has their favorites, right? Okay. <laughs> well, that's something to look forward to for you. Well, Cecilia, you're from Argentina. Yes. Yeah, so tell us about your hometown. Um, I live in Buenos Aires, okay. who is the capital of sure. the country. That's a big town, a big city. Yes, it's a big city. Yeah. Um, it's different than here. Sure it is. Yes, it's like we have too much public transportation mm -hmm. and here there aren't. There isn't, yeah, that's true. So, yes. So what do you, so what part of, do you live in a, in a suburb of Buenos Aires or you're right in the ta in the city? I mean, where do you live um, in relation? I live in the east. east. In the east part of yes. town? Yes. Okay. So, yes, where I live is like too much neighborhood. Okay. Um, we, we, anyways, we have public transportation right. there. So do you take buses or the subway or? Yes, we have trains, subway, and buses. So is that how you typically get around? Do you do you take uh, cars and bikes too, or is it mostly on the on the buses and the trains? Um, there are people who use bike bikes, yeah. but yes, you mostly use buses or yeah. maybe a taxi. You know? Sure. Yes. Okay. Now, what do you like about Buenos Aires? Buenos Aires yeah. is, well, <laughs> um, we have um, those, you know, the obelisk, uh, like the Washington mm -hmm. DC. Sure. Okay, we have one like this, and then we have um, the pink house. A pink house, <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, yes. We have, so <laughs> what's at the pink house? What is that? What? The pink house? What is yes. that? Well, it's when the government um, mm -hmm. works. Oh, okay, so it's the government it's center. It's like the White House. Yes. Ah, well, that makes sense then. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. Uh, and if we were talking about Anna's favorite food, so when you get back home, now you're here through December, so you mm -hmm. came for the calendar year as opposed to the school year. Yeah. And when you end up going back home, what's the, what's the one meal that you'll be really meat. looking forward to it. Yeah. Meat, yes. I've been here for four months and I never tried meat here. Okay. Just um, white meat, but in Argentina we have like a good meat and yeah. yes. So <laughs> you're looking forward to that? Yes. <laughs> well, it's good to have things every, to look forward to. Yes, you know. we have like every Sunday we, we have like a meeting with uh, 
not a meeting, but we reunit. Like a big family dinner? Yes. Yeah. So, and um, we have a huge barbecue meet. Oh, nice. So, yeah. <laughs> so who usually comes to that barbecue? Uh, well, my family, like cousins, aunts, uncles. So it's more than just the people you live with. It's a big, yes, big family yes. event. So this is every Sunday it goes on? Yes. But you look forward to that. That must yes, be wonderful. Yes, it's not just my family. It's like every, yeah. it's like a tradition or something. Sure. Like everybody does that. Sounds like a great tradition. Yes, it's, yeah. it's good. Now, who do you live with at home? Um, I live with my mom and my brother, who is 15. Okay. Yes. I bet you miss them, or at least your mom. Do you miss your brother, too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No, I'm joking. I don't. <laughs> well, I miss him sometimes. Yeah. But, yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we understand. It's all good. Now, Anna, who do you live with at home? Um, I live with my mom, my dad, and my brother. He's actually my stepdad, but we're okay. really co close, so well, I call good. him dad. And so my brother is nine years old, and we go. We used to go to the same school, so we yeah. would like walk together all the time, and we were just fight all the time. But I actually miss him a lot. Yeah, of course. Well, that'll be nice when you get to see him again. <laughs> now, how do you communicate with your families back home when you're here? What do you do? You go online with the video, uh, or by phone, or I'm just um, curious. We have like in. South American, like pretty much all the countries besides the U.S., we use this yeah. app which is called WhatsApp, yes. <laughs> and it's like it's kind of like an iMessage, but you can make big groups. So we, I have like a group with my family, like my two parents, and we use that a lot. But I try to like FaceTime them at least like two times a month. Sure. It's not really easy though because like with classes and everything, you just don't really have time for that. But I try to. Yeah, well, that's good. And how about you, Cecilia? Same thing, or? Yeah, we have, we have that. The WhatsApp. The WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then uh, by Facebook or Skype. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sure. Skype because yes, you don't have like time or maybe sometimes They're busy I don't and you're want. Busy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, what has school been like for you? You go to different schools. So, uh, Anna, tell us about Midland High School and how that's going for you. Um, I love Midland High School. Yeah. I had such a great um, experience there. I'm finishing my school year actually tomorrow, and I will have the um, pleasure to graduate from Midland High. That's awesome. I'm like, I'll be one of the only exchange students, I think the only one that is graduating from Midland High. And I had a great opportunity there because when I came from Brazil, I had only six months of my junior year. And I had enough like credit to validate my whole year, so I came here and I went straight to senior year. So I actually only did like four months of my junior year. Okay. And um, I love like how the how you get to kind of choose your classes here, and like you kind of make your own schedule. And I love yeah. having like different classmates each hour because it just like makes it more well more. It's like more diverse. While in Brazil we have like. We just sit in a classroom and don't change classrooms, so like the class doesn't change. We change the teachers, yeah. And everybody takes the same subjects, so and we have like f about 14 subjects a year in Brazil. Wow. Since we don't have the we don't have the same subjects every day, and I think it's kind of like easier here since it's like a little less. And I also, well, I like learn more. I'll, like in a subject like I took sure. um, biology and I feel like I learned all the three years of biology that I was learning in Brazil I learned yeah. in one year here so okay. so you can go more in depth because yeah. you have more time that makes sense okay, and Cecilia how about you you're at Dow High School yes. and how is the uh, how's everything gone for you so far um, well it's a little weird because I I come to the second semester right you started halfway through the school year yeah, yeah. so I already graduated from my country, so I don't have to take um, like um, like math or mm -hmm. those kind of. Yeah. So, what's your favorite class that you're taking? Oh, uh, marketing. Okay. Yes, I uh, I really love that class. Yes. It's really a great class and a wonderful program too. Yes. Isn't it? Have you worked in the school store then also? Sorry, what? Have you worked in the in the Dow High School store? No. Or the charger no, shop, no. not yet? That's okay. a different class. I think okay. it's sales or something. Right, sales and marketing. So. Yes. Um, okay. And yes, I meet too much people there. And yeah. They are really nice. Good. 
So, yes, last week I, I, they told me that I will be graduating again, so okay. I'm finished school tomorrow, but I have to come back on September. Right. Yes. <laughs> so you'll be here from September through December, and then you go back home then. Yes. All right. Now, you each brought some artifacts in from home. So, Cecilia, what did you bring here? Um, I bring this, which is called mate. Mate? Yes. Okay. So it's a special cup to make a special drink? Yes. You have right. to put the inside here. You put herb. the herb inside herb. there, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, um, with hot water, mm -hmm. you have to drink. Okay. With this, who have a filter, so okay. you don't, the ear don't. Right. Okay, it's like a tea. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yes, but, well, yes. But so like, it's mate is what it's mate, called. Mate, yes. But like you actually mix the herb and the, the hot water, like yeah. it doesn't have any separation. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it's yes. in there. And then Thank that's you. why you use the, <laughs> the special straw, I guess, kind of to, to filter it out. Yes. Now there must be different flavors and different kinds. No, it's no? just one. Oh, okay. Yes. Just one. You right. can put some other herbs if you want. Yeah. But yes, it's just, it, it's called the herb, it's sherva. What is it called? Sherva. Sherva, okay. Yes, so it's just one. So it's mate. Mate. Great. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, Anna, how about you? you now, you had brought a shirt, but then you, you didn't bring it down to the studio, um, right? So yes. tell us about the shirt that you brought. So I have this shirt, and I actually left it in my grandma's car. Okay. So um, it's a Brazilian shirt, of course. It's like has the, Braz the Brazilian colors, and the shirt was signed especially to me for, yeah. from one of my favorite surfers. And I really love that shirt. Well, I'm very into surf. Like, I used okay. to surf back home. And it's like the sport that I most identify with. So I really like him. He's like, he's actually right now the best surfer in the world. Like, he just won okay. the world championship. Wow, what's his name? Gabriel Medina. Okay. He's from Sao Paulo. He's right. Brazilian. Sure. So I, he signed the shirt for me, and it's really, nice. really special because, well, whenever I can, I watch him in the championships, and I just, I really love him. Like, I'm a big fan. And I got in contact with him, and he sent me the shirt to my, to my house. Nice. Together with some other stuff from, like, the brand that he, um, he's sponsored by. So that is, like, a really important thing for me. Yeah. But... Since that didn't work, I had some yeah. pictures in so my purse. You brought some pictures in, yeah. Yeah, so um, this first picture is um, in Brazil. We don't actually celebrate, like, the big, like, teenage birthday is actually when we turn 15. Okay. So we have 15-year um, birthday parties. And this is, like, one of my best friends, this one. Her name is Manuela. Okay. And the other two, they are also like some of my closest friends in sure. Brazil. So this was at her party and it's just a big thing in Brazil. Like when we turn 15, we usually have a party. I actually chose to travel because I love traveling. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, this is, it's important in Brazil. Okay. And the other picture is a picture with my group of friends. And this was actually taken at the school and we have like kind of we call it like Olympic Games but okay. they're at the school and each like group of students get together and we like play different sports and it's like a competition between groups of, sure. of students okay. so this was during one of them and this is my group of girlfriends yeah how's at, your team do um we didn't win this year, okay. but on the next re year we won, so oh, well, that's, that's good. a good thing, yeah. yeah. It was fun, though. It was really, really fun. And, well, I think what's cool about this picture is that I'm the only blonde, like, all around <laughs> I'm the only blonde. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> nice. So it sounds like your, uh, your friends are real important to you back home, of course. Um, yes. We're, like, always together and we study together because since we don't change classrooms we, we get really close sure, like throughout the whole school year right. and we actually like chose to stay together through all high school like in the same class yeah nice so, so that's great yeah well i tell you what we're just about out of time but before we go uh, i'm sure our, our folks in the audience would like to hear what are your plans so uh when you graduate or when you go back home uh, what are your plans what comes next Anna, what comes next for you 
Um, I'm going back home, and I'll have like about six months to just chill yeah. and go to the beach. Um, and then I'm going to med school in okay. Brazil, and my plans are to do the first year of med school. Well, actually, like we'll, we only have four years of med school in Brazil, and we go straight to that. So I am doing the first, my plans are to do the first and the last year in Brazil, but then the two years in the middle I'll do in like two different countries. That's okay. my plan. So you, you enjoy traveling and you keep doing that while you go to school. I love traveling yeah. and I have like already three or four um, like trips planned like outside of Brazil already sure. like from All when right. I come back. So. All right, it sounds yeah. like a good plan. Cecilia, how about for you? What's, your, what's that next for you? Um, I'm planning to go to college when I come back, but I want to come back here to study here to the in the United States. Okay. Yes, uh, but I'm saying that because the visa and money, we have free education at my country, mm -hmm. so, so yes. So you have to make a decision at some point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so be, you'll be, do you have you thought about what you want to study when you go to the university? Um, yes. Um, Sometimes I take, took uh, marketing class. Oh, mm -hmm. um, I did release, release that okay. I like business. Nice. So now I'm looking for business. Okay. But well, that's great. Yes. <laughs> so the class had a big impact on you. I'm sure Mr. Bohr will be happy to hear that, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's <think>. awesome. <laughs> well, Cecilia and Anna, thank you so much for talking um, with us, and we're glad to hear about your experiences here in Midland. You. Thank you. And good luck when you go back home. Thanks. Thanks. You bet. <laughs> well, that's a wrap on the 2014-15 season of MPS Today. We hope you've enjoyed the show, and we look forward to bringing you new ideas and shows next school year. Be on the lookout for updates on the 2015-16 school year in August, and we'll see you next time on MPS Today.